All right, Micah, congrats on all America honors. Why don't you start out, just talk about what that means to you. Then we'll go to John Blau. Uh, yeah, really, uh, really glad to get that honor. Um, so honored. Just, uh, just want to thank all my teammates, my coaches, and uh, yeah, my family for pushing me, and encouraging me, and helping me throughout this this difficult, weird season. But glad the the momentum that this team has, and really excited for this bowl game coming up. All right, John, and then Kevin. Yeah, we've asked you uh, these questions. Just I know your dad was even wondering, like, if this would be a good idea to play in the Big Ten, just because you know all the competition level and all that. Um, to be an All American, is that something you ever imagined you could be? Or I mean, how surreal is it to to be able to say you're an All American? Yeah, um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna say that I really expected this, or this was one of my biggest goals, but um, or that I saw at this season. But um, yeah, really excited that it came and that you know the success that I had and that this defense had uh, created momentum for this team and for the season that we're having and you know this bowl game so really excited really glad and happy for Ty as well in his award so all right Kevin and then Rick Bozich yeah Mike uh, uh going back to Tampa uh did you go to Raymond James Stadium as a kid for Bucks games or anything like that or even play on that field in any kind of high school game and uh how much family are you going to be able to have at the game on Saturday? Yeah, um, I've been to the stadium a few times, uh, a few Bucks game I've been to. Um, I went to a Bucks game when John Lynch was actually inducted into the Ring of Honor. And then uh, my brother actually got to play a high school game there. I didn't get to get one in there. But, um, yeah, it's going to be – it's going to mean a lot. I got a lot of family coming. I think I got like close to 45 people that are going to be at the game. So, gonna going to be really excited. Can't wait to play in front of a – a big crowd for uh, for once this season. Oops, sorry, Rick and then Tom. Uh, yeah, Micah, you guys, everybody knows the long list of things that uh, uh, you guys achieved this year that IU hasn't, hadn't achieved in the past. And the next thing on the list is obviously winning a bowl game, which hasn't happened for a long time. Do you guys talk about that? How important is it to you to, to finish the season out uh, with a bowl victory? Yeah, uh, it's it's talked about. We definitely recognize it. But I think that, you know, these past two weeks, the, the team's just been really focused and locked in on the opponent and uh, getting ready uh, for the execution and the fundamentals of the game and, and just putting in the work needed to, you know, make this week uh, clean and smooth as possible so we can just focus on, you know, the corrections throughout the week and getting ready for Saturday. All right, Tom and then Stefan. Micah, you know, COVID-19 has kind of made 2020 a, a crazy year for all of us. And the way it all ends, I guess, is you get to go back to Tampa and you're going to have lots of friends and family people around and you really won't be able to see them, right? I mean, how can you, do, uh, can you just talk about that part of it but uh, and what it means to you, though, for them at least to finally see you in person this year? Yeah, it means a lot, you know, um, just to be able to play in front of a lot of people and, you know, just the fact that it's not, you know, just family members that can come to the game, a lot of friends and, you know, just whoever, fans and stuff, just want to get to the game. So it'll be really exciting. And uh, I think, you know, a lot of guys on the team just from Florida and a lot of people traveling out for that for the game and coming into Tampa. So can't wait. It'll be exciting. All right, Stefan, then Griffin. Mike, as, as one of the leaders, um, you know, on the team and on the defense, when everything was shut down these past the past few weeks and you guys weren't able to be on the field as much and be together, I mean, what were some things that maybe you were trying to do to, to keep that level of motivation there? And then, you know, how exciting has it been, you know, this week to be able to get back out there? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think the team, you know, did well just getting in as much as they could. Just, uh, you know, the guys that uh, weren't necessarily quarantined or whatnot, just – you know, getting in what they have to film study or whatever, but it's been weird. And then this tradition, the transition from getting the guys back into the stadium has been definitely weird as well. But I think the guys have handled it correctly and everybody's been locked in and focused and doing exactly what they do, need to do to get back and get in shape for Saturday. So, All right, Griffin and then Peaks, last one. Hey, Mike, you're one of the leaders on this defense. Uh, another player has a big leadership role, a redshirt senior, Jerome Johnson. Uh, what, what's his leadership and impact been on you and on this defense? Yeah, uh, Jerome's a, you know, he's he's kind of a friend to everybody on the defense. Everybody likes Jerome and talks to Jerome. Yeah, a great leader on the field and off the field. Just, you know, I think his effort kind of speaks for itself, just the way he plays, how hard he is physically up front and just, 
the tone he sets for our defense, it, you know, it, it definitely resonates throughout everybody on the team. So. All right, Peaks. Hey, Michael, um, <clears throat> given all the interceptions that happened behind you this year, were you a little bit surprised you didn't see any of the defensive backs get, get some all American or a first team kind of big 10 nod and, and, uh, how has it helped you to have a really good secondary behind you this year? Yeah, um, you know, we might have been a little bit surprised by that, but, you know, it is what it is. Those guys know the, the stats that they put up and the effort that they gave each Saturday and what they deserve, so, um, and how much we believe in them and, and trust what they can do, so. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it was, it was great to just have guys back there that knew what they were doing, would communicate, were loud and confident and just – made the plays when they came their way. And uh, that's exactly what they did. And, um, you know, it made it, it made my job a whole lot easier just knowing that everything was going to be good on the back end. All right.